In this video, I'm gonna take y'all through what is in my camera bag as a professional sports videographer for Major League Baseball. Welcome back to the channel, everyone. What is up? Welcome back. Pete here. <laughs> What's going on, y'all? Welcome back. Got my coffee in my Georgia mug after that big W. And what a better way to discuss what I take on a day-to-day -day basis to, to games, to events for Major League Baseball when I shoot video. I did one of these What's In My Camera Bag videos about 16 months ago. Things have changed. I got a new bag that I'll talk about and I've added some gear to my arsenal that helped me on a day-to-day -day basis. I have never been much of a gear guy. I believe once you get to a certain threshold, gear doesn't really matter, but to a certain degree, it does matter, and I know some of y'all are gear heads. You love the gear, love the lenses, whatever it be, and you wanna know about that stuff. So I'm gonna go over that today, and I'm gonna try and keep it brief, clear, and concise for y'all. Oh. As I mentioned, this is the new bag. We've been using this for a while now, probably 10 months. This is a Think Tank. I believe it's the Airport Advantage. Uh, this thing has two wheels, obviously like a little handle for, for rolling. Great in the airport. It can fit in the carry-on luggage space, of course. That's mainly what I got it for. I just needed a better bag that fit more stuff that was kind of malleable in a way. And this thing does just, just the job, you know? Sometimes I wish I had a bigger bag, but I don't know. I kind of like being it being compact and me finding ways to kind of to, to make it work. Let's open this bag up and see what is inside. We have obviously a plethora of lenses and cameras cameras and wires and whatnot. I'm going to start here. These are two components that are kind of made for more for lenses and whatnot, but I keep batteries in here. This is where I keep my C70 batteries for BPA60, which is a big one. It shoot, I can shoot basically two full baseball games on this. And then I have two of these, one here and then one's in the camera now. Also, I have this EF to E mount, just in case I need to put any of my Canon lenses onto my A7S3, which I will naturally segue into. I have used this camera for a long time now. I love it. it shoots 4K24, which is really what I like to shoot when I vlog, which is what I use this for. I use this for vlogs, some tutorials, convenience factor, and on the odd chance I need to take photo for MLB, I do use this as well. I might upgrade this in a year. I don't know. It does the job for me. It's really all I need. We have an extra EF to RF lens mount, just in case. You never know what situation you'll be in. Here, wrapped in this towel, is the 16 to 35. I recently lost the lens cap so I need to go onto Amazon and get another one, sorry. We also have a 70 to 200. This is a lens that I use all the time in Atlanta in the inside photo wells. This is probably the go-to lens if you have to buy one that you're shooting football or basketball, whatever with. The go-to lens, what I would say, would be 70 to 200 if you need one. People ask me that question all the time, which is why I'm addressing it. There's an F4 version as well that you can get, I think, for Sony and Canon. I, look, 70 to 200 is a good length because you can get action in the middle of the field if you're shooting football or soccer or, and then if you're shooting basketball you can always back up shoot from the concourse whatever it be shoot from the crowd that is would be a go-to lens for me question inside a question we create value here on this channel in here this empty space is where the 24 to 70 goes which is on the camera right now filming this video and then we got this behemoth of a lens got the live content sticker on it this is the 200 to 400 I love this lens. This is probably my most common lens I use to shoot game action with. It's great for video. With the speed booster, the RF, the EF, I get an extra f-stop, so it goes down to f2.8. Normally this is f4. This also has an extender right here that I use all the time. Gives me great versatility, 200 to like whatever, 500 it be. I don't know the exact length. Like I said, I'm not a gearhead. I don't pay attention to that stuff. Up here in these two pockets, I keep a plethora of items. We'll start with this pocket down here and I keep a bunch of essential items in here. So this is the most important item probably in my whole bag. It is an SD to lightning reader and that allows me to transfer my clips from my camera card to my phone and it allows me to transmit them live to, you know, MLB social, the clubs, the players, whatever it be. I've talked about this before. Uh, I have a backup one in here as well. And then we also have this piece, which is ethernet to lightning. If I'm in an environment like the playoffs where there's a lot of people in the crowd and the internet stinks or whatever it be, certain stadiums have better Wi-Fi than others. This thing is pretty crucial to getting content out, especially if you're shooting in high frame rates like 4K60 or 4K120 where the files are huge. We also have some various other adapters, USB, HDMI, USB-C, two USB-C, just a couple random things in here. 
I keep some of my memory cards in here as well. SD card to USB-C reader. There's some GoPro batteries in here. And this is really just kind of a hodgepodge of the essential items that I need that are small. The most important being that SD to lightning card reader. Up here is just kind of extra cables if I need it. I highly recommend keeping a bunch of extra cables in your camera bag wherever you're going, whether that be like a USB 2 to USB-C, or you know, USB-C to USB-C, or, or mini HDMIs, iPhone chargers, power bricks. I really recommend keeping like a kind of junk pocket of cables. You never know when you're gonna need something or when something goes wrong, you're gonna need a cable that you might not readily have. It's good to just have kind of a hodgepodge of this. One more thing I did forget in here is this Rode mic. Amazing Rode mic. If you don't have one of these, I see too many people shooting without these. Go sh go get one of these or go get like a deity mic or deity whatever. Don't shoot without a mic. Moving on, you'll notice as well that this think tank also has a place for a laptop. I don't really use it for that. I'm about to explain why, but I do keep some items in here. I keep this really long USB-C to USB-C. Sometimes I'll put my C70 charger in here. I have zip ties in here as well. Any important documents that I might need if I have like, I need people to sign waivers. Just kind of throw everything in here. And this is like helpful when I travel. I can just throw stuff in here if it's like a charging cable, whatever, really quickly. That's the Think Tank, love this thing, highly recommend. If you don't have one, go get one. They make bigger ones, they make smaller ones, I think, as well. They're about, this one's about 250, 300, I think. So this is my Case Logic bag. I use it kind of for the extra gear that doesn't fit in my Think Tank. I also put the C70 in here. So that's mainly the purpose for it, is to carry the Canon C70. Um, this is actually my first camera bag ever. So I've had this since, you know, 2016. Eight years, still going strong. I need to get a new one. The strap is kind of broken and thin. You know, it's like that meme, it's still holding on. It still works for me. Let's start with this front pocket. Um, I keep my credential in here. I, this is my work phone. This is an iPhone 14 Pro Max. It's great. I use it for storage purposes and put all my, my clips on here. And then the aforementioned SD card to lightning. I use that on this phone, put all my clips in here and upload them. If we open this up, you can see it's pretty barren right now. That is because the C70 goes in the middle and then I put the audio components here in the side and those are obviously shooting this video right now. We have in here an Atmos Ninja monitor. We just got these for playoffs. I love it. It's so good. It helps shooting in the daylight, bright scenarios. It, it makes it so much easier. So if you do have the, the ability to get a monitor, go ahead and get one. The definitely cheaper ones in this. We have an HDMI cable here as well and the hot shoe mount for this that goes on the handle to the c70 in here i also do keep the 360 camera so there's a common theme keep my camera bodies in here that i mainly use this is the insta 360 one inch rs i just did a video on these and why i think they're so revolutionary why i think they're going to be more common and why you should get one if you have the the the, the facilities for that mate but yeah love this thing 360 camera use it all the time now i do throw my macbook charger in here and one of these these power bricks and an iPhone charger as well. Just to have, I use this for traveling. It's very crucial to have a backpack, I think, when you're traveling. It just makes it more convenient. Having two roller cases, I did that. And if you watch the last camera bag video, I had a Pelican case and I was doing Think Tank Pelican case for like a month and I hated having two roller bags. So I gave up on that dream and went back to the OG backpack that I never threw away. Obviously in here, like I said, I don't use the laptop carrier on that, on the Think Tank, so I use it here. That's where I put my MacBook, and we use MacBook M1s. Love this computer. It's really all I need right now. I know the M3 just came out. Whatever, man. And I guess finally, for the essentials, I do use these Sony Tough cards. I don't know if you can see that, but these are my preferred memory cards. You know, love them fast. Kind of pricey, but they're reliable, very durable as well. They're one piece, they're like a carbon, I don't even know. But they're very reliable, love them. So moving on, and these are probably the last two like critical essentials that I need to, to shoot a game or an event every day. You know, between the think tank, the backpack, and these two items, it's really like the bare bones minimum of what I take every day and, and stuff that I absolutely need to do my job to the best ability. Here we have an Insta360 pole. I've talked about this before in the video I just released about the 360 camera. This allows us to get that kind of video game look or the drone look really high up. Basically attach a 360 camera here and run with it. Extend it way out. This goes like, it's like 14 meters or something or something like that. I can't even remember. This thing I take with me every day for the 360 camera. And then probably the most critical item in here, not 
a camera is this monopod. I am very sentimental about this thing. It has shot every single game with me at MLB. So I've had it for four seasons now and it's still going strong. You can see the wear and tear like on, on these parts. I taped this a while ago. This is ripping a little bit, but it still works. I would not be able to hold my lenses steady. I would not be able to do anything without this monopod. And it is the most important. If I forget this at home, I can't do my job. And this is like a Siriu monopod. I don't know, they're pretty good. We use Manfrotto at George which were maybe a step up, but this one has done the job for me. I love it. It's been everywhere with me. If you are looking for a monopod and you do video for you newcomers who are curious, always get a monopod with feet. And this is what feet look like. It's gonna make your video a little bit more steady. A normal monopod without feet, like this will be a little bit harder to keep steady, especially on longer focal lengths. So keep that in mind when you're buying one if you're new to the game. But yeah, for the most part, like I said, between the think tank, the backpack, and these two items, this is like the, the, the bare bones essentials to what I need to do my job every day, whether it's a banquet, event, or it's a game. With that being said, I'm going to move on to items that I take sparingly, not all the time, but I do take them quite often. They make my shots and my end product just a little bit better. Okay, the gimbal. DJI Ronin S2, love this thing. Been with me for now two seasons. Pretty self-explanatory if you've used a gimbal. You know, there's other brands you can buy from, but this DJI makes the most reliable ones. This barely fits a C70. Some of my colleagues do use the RS3, but I don't need that. This thing works well, well enough for me. Oh my. Next, we have this absolute behemoth of a lens. This is the Canon. 600. It is massive, as you can see. This is the lens hood. So if I put the hood on, which I'm not gonna right now, it becomes like 12 inches longer. I mean, it's it's pretty insane lens, and I, I really only use this once or twice in a, in a home stand, and it has to be, you know, in big events where I roam a lot or there's a big crowd behind. This thing's really fun to mess with and shoot on. You can get really creative with it. You can get really tight. If you're in the photo wells, it's almost too tight. You can get really tight B-roll. It's pretty elite for that. The 600 is, is awesome. It's very hard to roll manual focus on this. I will say that. This gets down to f2.8 on that C70. But I love this thing. It's really unique to have and I'm blessed to have it. Um, I do stick with the two to 400 more often than not just because I can go wider and stuff. But this thing, love it. And here are a couple more items that I do utilize from time to time. So this, these are the DJI mics. I forget what they're actually called and this is what I'm using right now. And this is basically, it has a port, like a main receiver. Two, it comes with two of these. These have internal mics and what I'm doing right now is I use these power DYs, 3.5 jacks as a lav. And that's basically the system we use for miking people up right now. Sometimes we'll use nicer systems if it's in like a high frequency environment. There's other things we have to compete with. Another bit of gear that I, I use more so in the playoffs. And I use these to kind of supplement my content. These are two GoPros. I believe they're Hero 11s. These are nice, they're great. I use them a lot for time lapses. We use them more so for like stationary angles if we want to set it up. We use these last year at the Don't Blink Home Run Derby in the Bahamas and set it up where you could see the ball flight. These are really easy to just have set up. Time lapse, put them up for an angle or put them on a catcher's head, we use that. Love having GoPros on deck. I don't take them with me, like I said, every game, but for big events, playoffs, do a lot of time lapses, whatnot. And I should mention one more thing. I do keep a bunch of hard drives with me in my, my, my backpack, my aforementioned backpack. The hard drives I prefer to use are the SanDisk solid state drives. I always buy two terabytes. I believe they're about 140. You can get them on Prime Day or on Amazon for sale. The pro version is a little bit more volatile than, than the normal one. These I tend to find are much more reliable and they won't crash on you. They're very fast, love them. This is, I really go through two a season, I'd say. So yeah, I have a bunch of them these days. And then for a backup, I need to get a new one of these. For backup, I get the five terabyte Lacey Ruggeds. And look, I don't really edit off these, or sometimes I will if it's old footage. But what I'll do is put all my clips onto these drives first, and I'll edit off these because they're very fast. You know, after a game, when I copy them, label them all to here, I put them on here as well, just as a backup to have. It's good to back up your footage. If you guys are new to this, losing an entire drive or losing cards of footage is, is a terrible feeling. So make sure you back up your stuff to multiple places, whether it's the cloud, online, Google, whatever, Dropbox, or it's on these. Make sure you back it up multiple times. With all that being said, this is the end of the video. I hope y'all enjoyed. I hope y'all were able to understand what I take to a game every day. If you do have any questions about the gear or, you know, processes, really anything, let me know in the comment section you can also dm me at pete chalk on instagram but thanks for watching y'all 
I hope you did enjoy this video. Make sure you like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Have a good holiday season.